it's not safe for people living around it. It's dangerous for you, it's dangerous for your pets, it's dangerous for your kids, and it's dangerous for your neighbors. Kyla Bennett, Director of Science Policy at Public Employees for Environmental Responsibility, studies the environmental impacts of artificial turf. There is never a circumstance where I would recommend artificial turf. Bennett says a new study shows the plastic plant releases forever chemicals called PFAS into soil and any adjacent wetlands or water. These PFAS can leach right off these artificial turf fields and get into your drinking water. And that would require multi-million dollar filtration plants to take it out and treat it. The artificial turf is filled with microplastics. Experts say they don't know the full extent yet on where these plastics end up. They weigh a ton. They're very, very heavy, this plastic, and oftentimes they use crumb rubber as an infill and there's no place to recycle them. Plus, a concern especially relevant in Arizona. We knew it would get hot, but it was very surprising that it got that hot. Professor Ariane Middell and Arizona State University's Shade Lab tested ground temperature of different surfaces on a hot June day and found artificial turf to be significantly hotter than others. It was 154 degrees Fahrenheit and asphalt came in at about 147. Whereas real grass stayed below air temperature. It will definitely have an impact on how you enjoy your backyard. So how do you choose between the two? One entomologist says you don't have to. Think of alternatives is what I tell people. Shaku Nair at the University of Arizona says there are several native grasses and other plants in Arizona that require up to 40% less water than grass and are safe for the surrounding environment. You don't have to have a grass lawn. There are other options, right? If it's just the green that you want, there are other options for that. Gabriella Bakira, 12 News.